I am honored and excited to announce today that Concordia University St. Paul has agreed to take ownership control of Concordia University School of Law. You knew that clapping was coming. The future is now clear for Concordia School of Law in downtown Boise as they announced a new parent institution will be taking over. Just last week, 10 days ago, we told you about Concordia University in Portland closing, ending their more than 100 year run as an institution for higher learning in the Pacific Northwest. As the law school's parent institution, this left students and faculty in Boise unsure of what was going to happen, and now they know. Joey Prechtel is here in the studio to tell us what it means going forward. It sounds positive, Joey. Absolutely is, Mark. What the interim dean at the law school and the provost at Concordia University St. Paul told me is that the transition should be seamless. And after today's announcement, I talked to a law student on campus to get their take on what the school is doing. My goal is to be in the courtroom as much as possible. This is Alexander Hatfield, a second year law student at Concordia University School of Law. I chose here because not only the closeness to the courthouse, but the academics uh, really impressed me. The bar passage rate was fantastic. Concordia School of Law's announcement of joining with Concordia St. Paul in Minnesota excites him. Graduation is still on track, still going to have the same professors, still going to have the same classes. Really no issues going forward whatsoever. There's been a lot of uncertainty since the law school's former parent institution announced their closing at the end of April, but Alexander wasn't sweating it. I didn't feel really terrible about it at all. Um, it didn't impact me whatsoever. I knew that Dean Keith uh, had everything under control. And she did. It's going to lead to a very seamless transition, both in terms of our existing program of legal education, that's going to remain the same. The talks moved quickly as the law school looked for a parent school that was in line with their core values, providing quality and affordable legal education. We were able to talk and really realize all the alignment that we have with this institution and to be able to get through a board vote and get all the way to today. I'm very thrilled. And think of it as a homecoming for Concordia St. Paul's provost Eric Lamont, a Bishop Kelly and Boise State grad. This wasn't blind to us. We saw what was going on. We saw the opportunity and the, the metrics fell in life very quickly. A homecoming for Lamont and a new future for Hatfield. Now we have a new parent organization within a week, uh, maybe a week and a half of that announcement. Now one thing that helped Concordia Law School's chances of finding a new parent school so quickly is their bar passage rate. You heard the student mention it there. Just this week, the school was recognized by the American Bar Association for hitting a 100% passage rate on the bar exam in both 2016 and 2017. And they are one of only three schools in the entire country to achieve this. The other two mark are Yale Law School and the University of Wisconsin. It's just amazing how seamless this appears. They don't have to change any of their branding. They stay with, stay with a school that is owned by the Missouri Synod of the Lutheran Church and everything just looks like seamless. Yeah, really is seamless. Still have to go through a, some more procedural things such as going through the accreditor for Concordia University St. Paul and then going in front of the American Bar Association just to you know tidy everything up. Right. They expect to be in front of their board in August. But yeah, everything right now does seem to be just a seamless transition. Okay, Joey. Very nice. Thank you.